I am Brother Matthew. Thank you for tuning in once again. He will lift up Jesus Delivered by our General Superintendent, Pastor W.F. Kumoye. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, you'll find exactly these words. The spirit of faith. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. We, having the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. As we look at this verse of scripture, it talks about the spirit of faith. It says in verse 13, we having, we having the same spirit of faith. That means it's not just that we had each in the past or we're going to have each in the future. It says at this very moment, why are we confident that our problems are going to be solved? Because at this very moment, we have the spirit of faith. Why are we so certain, so sure that whatever the mountain may be, that those mountains are going to be removed because we have in the same spirit of faith? How can we be so confident in the midst of all the turbulence and the storms of life that we're going to be victorious because we have in the same spirit of faith? Then it says, according as it is written according as it is written you see if you are manifesting the spirit of faith you have to live and work and move and talk and act in the spirit of faith according to what has been written it is what has been written in the past reaching in the word of god the great testimonies of scripture that shows the glory of God, the power of God, the might of God, the possibilities that we have in God. When you read all those things and you believe them and you confess them and you act on them, we having the spirit of faith, the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believe, therefore have I spoken. And then it says, we also, we also believe. And therefore, we speak. In Psalm 116, Psalm 116, verses 9 and 10. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Why did he say that? It was going through some real real problems look at verse 3 the sorrows of death compass me but i'm not going to talk about that having the spirit of faith means that you're not looking at things surrounding you you're not looking at things that are threatening you it says in verse 3 the sorrows of death compass me the pains of hell got hold upon me i found trouble and sorrow You'll see that a man like that was about to die. Yes, in the natural. Looking at what people will think and looking at how people will act and looking at how people will normally behave at such a time when sickness and sorrow and pain and trouble, when they all surround such a man, you'll think that he'll pack up and go home and say goodbye, good night. There's no more hope for me. But he says in verse 9, I will Walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believe, therefore, have I spoken, I was greatly afflicted. I was, I was, I was greatly afflicted. But now, because of the spirit of faith and because of my confession in this spirit of faith, I cannot declare that I am going to walk before the Lord in the land of the living. It's like calling those things would be not as though they were. When you have the spirit of faith, you do not look at the conditions prevailing to present you do not look at the things that are biting hard on your life biting hard on your family biting hard on your finances biting hard on your profession you're looking at the reaching word of god according us according as it has been reaching let's look at romans chapter 4 in romans chapter 4 reading from verse 18 romans chapter 4 reading from verse 18 who against hope believed in hope 
when somebody is walking and operating and acting according to the spirit of faith is going to be walking in hope is hopeful when other people are hopeless because he has faith in god and because he's walking by the spirit of faith and because he lives his life by the spirit of faith hopeless situations make him because it says who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall thy seed be and be not weak in faith a person that has a spirit of faith will have an attitude of faith the mind of faith the confession of faith the word of faith he will not be weak in faith being not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead that's how to walk by faith that's how to live by faith that you do not consider things natural things physical things visible things prevalent and present that it, is, it doesn't come into your consideration at all the things that people see and the things that you feel within you because faith takes over your feeling and faith supersedes and is superimposed on your feeling and therefore you are not walking about by what you see or by what you feel it says be not weak in faith he considered not his own body now dead when he was about an hundred years old neither yet the deadness of sarah's womb he staggered not at the promise of god through unbelief he staggered not you know what it means to stagger you know we know that drunkards stagger that is when wine overcomes them they're not in control of themselves anymore they're not in control of their life anymore and you see unbelief makes people stagger they're not in control of their lives anymore they give up and they just stagger through life and they think this will not work that will not work the family is breaking down business is breaking down life is breaking they stagger because of unbelief and they're not in control of their movement they're not in control of their plans they're not in control of their life they're not in control of their decisions anymore because they stagger through unbelief and they're not stable and they're not steady and they cannot move on steadily because of this unbelief but he staggered not at the promise of god through unbelief but he was strong in faith giving glory to god and being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was able also to perform persuaded that's how to live and that's how to walk that's how to move by the spirit of faith you're fully persuaded beyond a shadow of doubt that what the lord has promised is able also to perform and he'll perform it in your life and you will be glad and happy for this day because the Lord is going to honor the spirit of faith and the confession of faith in your heart. I divide the message to three parts. Number one, having the spirit of faith. Number one, having the spirit of faith. Having the spirit of faith. Number two, hindrances to the spirit of faith. What are the things that hinder? the oppression and the manifestation of the spirit of faith hindrances to the spirit of faith number three holding on in the spirit of faith whatever comes whatever betides whatever rages whatever storm there whatever you see whatever you feel holding on in the spirit of faith number one having the spirit of faith let's come back to this uh, same verse it's in second corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 and we having the same spirit of faith uh, when you say you have the same what are you talking about if you told me uh, i have the same car you're making comparison with another person you're saying i have the same car as so and so i earn the same salary 
What are you talking about? You're talking about a comparison with another person. I earn the same salary as such and such. I'm working in the same place. What do you mean? I'm working in the same place as so and so. Whenever you say something like this, we have in the same spirit of faith. You're making comparison with some other people who had faith, who manifested faith. And who live their lives and they live their lives by faith. And so, who are you making comparison with then? And you need to understand this that if you have the same faith as these people we're talking about, then you'll be able to achieve, then you'll be able to receive the same thing they achieved and the same thing they received. We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed, and therefore have I spoken. We also, when you, say, when you use the word also, also, that means you're still making comparison. I believe that's what they said. And because we have the same spirit of faith, I also believe and therefore speak. Now who are these people that they are making comparison with? Let's turn to Numbers chapter 14. We have in, we have in the same spirit of faith. The same spirit of faith. In Numbers chapter 13, I'm reading verse 30. Numbers chapter 13, verse 30. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. That man was having faith. He had another spirit within him. Another spirit within him. Uh, let's, before I come back to that, let's look at uh, Numbers chapter 14, verse 24. Chapter 14, verse 24. But my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit within him. My servant Caleb, because he had another spirit within him. What kind of spirit? Spirit of faith. What other spirit do the other people have? They had the spirit of unbelief. When, because of the unbelief, they said, we are not able, we cannot do it. It's impossible. It cannot be done. There's no way we can go into that land and overcome. But Caleb had another spirit, different, opposite to the spirit of unbelief. He says, yes, let's go up at once. No delay. A man that has a spirit of faith does not delay. Your miracle will not be delayed. The overflowing of the power of God into your life will not be delayed. And the answer to your prayer will not be delayed. Let us go up at once, for we are well able to overcome each. He believed in his heart. He spoke with his mouth. I believe, therefore, I spoke. And we also believe, and therefore, we speak. You see, you cannot have the spirit of faith and keep quiet. You cannot have the spirit of faith and just fold your hand. You cannot have the spirit of faith and be immobilized. That you are paralyzed, you are immobilized, and your problems tie you down and you cannot move. No, no, that will be a spirit of unbelief. But when you have the spirit of faith, you'll be able to say like Caleb, let us go up at once because we are well able to overcome each. That's another spirit, the spirit of faith. And it says, we too today, after so many years have passed, that spirit of faith has not changed. And the oppression and the action and the demonstration of the spirit of faith has not changed. That whatever the other people did in generations past, by that same spirit of faith, today that same spirit of faith will do the same wonders. We have the same inheritance and we get to the same place and we'll be able to get into the land of promise where we have, where we inherit all the promises of God for us because we have another spirit. I have the spirit of faith. I have the spirit of faith. And therefore, mountains are going to move before me. And therefore, problems are going to...